That terrifying incident for tourists taking a ferry boat ride in the Bahamas. You can see passengers trying to escape that sinking vessel. Good evening and welcome. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. A 75-year-old woman died during this incident. Fox 35's Esther Bauer spoke with some people on board that sinking ship. She's joining us live tonight. So Esther, they're concerned that there were not enough safety protocols in place. Passengers tell us the water came up to their shoulders when this boat was sinking and they had a little direction on what to do when that was happening. We're told there were infants on board all the way up to seniors and a 75 year old woman tragically lost her life during this ordeal. Screams rang out as people jumped off a sinking ship. Our boat is sinking. Small children safe on a boat as others floated, hoping they'd be saved. Yeah, there are boats passing us very fast, didn't stop to help, just kept speeding on by, creating huge waves. I kept getting like almost drowned by the huge waves crashing. Brittany Crippen and Derek Smoot were on board the Blue Lagoon Island Ferry Excursion. They say it was smooth sailing until... And the door of the boat flung open and a bunch of water flew in. What made things worse? We got no instruction like, hey, put on your life vest now. It was like we figured it out when we were up to our shoulders in water. Officials say two passengers were taken to the hospital and a 75 year old woman died. She was on a wheelchair and she had she was on oxygen. Kelly Schissel was also on board and says first responders couldn't save the senior. You could see the wheelchair and a bunch of people carrying different oxygen masks and tanks running up the pier towards where that lady was. And um, uh, to my knowledge, they tried doing CPR and they just couldn't bring her back. Local authorities in the Bahamas are investigating what caused the boat to sink and the U.S. Embassy is involved, with some passengers worried about planning another international vacation. Going to a foreign country is something to be really cautious about. And all the passengers we spoke with were cruising on Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas ship, which did arrive safely in Miami earlier today. These passengers say they're trying to get some sort of refund from the cruise line on the cruise and the specific excursion they were on. Royal Caribbean also tells us that their care team has been in contact with the family whose loved one died. Reporting from Jetty Park, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.